Josh Bohart loves to collect cameras, all sorts of vintage cameras. The 18-year-old said he started visiting secondhand stores two years ago and picking up old picture-making machines. And he would disappear for an hour or two and he would come back with 10. <laughs> but one of his most interesting finds recently came from inside one of those old cameras. I opened it up, I saw the film, and then I was like, oh, okay, the light's gonna, you know, leak into it and ruin all this film, and then I then wound it back up. He sent the film off to a photography lab in Southern California, and what he got back blew his mind. It was th this crazy reaction where I was kind of expecting something kind of like just a few photos of like landscapes or whatnot, but when I saw people and, and I saw children that are probably still here, you know, like in their 50s or 60s, I was like, these people need these photos. They are images from another era, period photos of an African-American family and glimpses into life from the middle of the last century. Now he's more interested in finding the family and connecting the pictures with the people in them. Maybe it was shared and then one of the family members was trying to practice, uh, I guess, taking pictures with it, you know, photography. He bought the camera, like almost every other camera he has, from the Goodwill store in Folsom. The store, though, couldn't say whether the camera was donated locally or somewhere else. And uh, I would actually searched the serial number right here, and this was made in July of 1952. When the photos were actually taken is anyone's guess, but there are clues in the children's clothing. You know, like you have the, the tall white socks with the shoes and the cars in the background. Yeah, that looks like a 1950s Bel Air. I'm not, I'm, I'm not too familiar with, uh, with my classic cars. How the film survived decades is just as much of a mystery. It was just like, wow, this is amazing that the film has sat in there in who knows what weather, you know, uh, conditions, and they, they look almost brand new. Most of them do anyway. But Bohart and his mother believe some of the children could still be alive, albeit a few years older. Whoever the photographer was, it was very talented. And um, so it would be really interesting to see if yeah. we could find these people. The challenge now to find the people in the photos and reunite the family with some lost heirlooms. In Folsom, the, Kevin the Oliver, KCRA 3 News.